time you did something for the first time. Everybody, let's get together. Oh, oh, oh open up a whole new world. It's just around the corner. Oh, oh, oh. you want to dream about it, think about it, talk about it. Welcome to the House Around the Corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zima. We're at a lovely Learn Local organization in North Croydon. We're at the Yurunga Community Centre and they're holding a very special luncheon for their volunteers. We're going to be lunching with the lovely Nolene Brown, famous actor and now ambassador for the aged. Nolene Brown shares with us her experiences on Dancing with the Stars and talks passionately about how important it is to stay fit and healthy as we age. And she also talks about the importance of volunteering in Learn Local organizations and how that contributes to your health. In the second segment, we're gonna meet up with Lindy Wilkins and a lovely group of ladies from the Basin Community Center. They get together once a week for exercise and lunch. And it's an exercise I'm sure that Nolene Brown would approve of, belly dancing. In the final segment, we're going to Morrison's training in Lilydale. This Learn Local organization is helping students reskill and gain their diplomas so that they can launch their career in beauty therapy. Join us as we peek into the window of this house just around the corner. You have been um, announced as the first ambassador of the aged. Yes. How do you feel about your journey and how you came to this point? When I was offered the, oh, the position of Ambassador for Ageing, I didn't really know what it would entail. I had a, a, a vague idea that I'd be meeting older Australians and representing them because I am an older Australian. But I had no idea that it would be as interesting. Um, the people who are involved uh, with people who are ageing and ageing people themselves have so much to offer mm -hmm. and you know you meet all these people with uh, you might see a bunch of people with grey hair but behind all of those people they've got a terrific history mm -hmm. so once you find out what they've done in their lives and what they're currently doing and the way they volunteer and the amount of money that they save by uh, investing their time, you know, it's worth a lot of money to the community. So Absolutely. it's an opportunity to talk about the work that older Australians have done because they built the nation. So it's, uh, it's making them feel good about themselves, but it's also encouraging them to tell their stories because I think that's vitally important and uh, at a time when sometimes older people don't have exposure to younger people and the other way around because we don't live a block away from grandma or grandma might have lived in the same mm. house. Those Very sort true. of things don't exist anymore so sometimes there is a bit of a divide between young and old and it's fantastic when you get that opportunity to mix young people and old people. And that's the joy of the community health sector, isn't it? Yes, it is. That it brings all those different levels that's together. That's right, yes. Yeah. Now, you've come to the Uringa Community Health Centre for this lovely event. You're going to have a lovely luncheon. Yes. You're going to be speaking to the group here. I am. What are some of the highlights that you're going to be saying? Well, I'm going to be talking about what other people do in their community groups as well, and some of the uh, interesting people that I've met uh, as the Ambassador for Ageing. It's lovely to come to a place like Yoronga, uh, to a community centre like this, because it's just a wonderful place for people to come and meet, for people of all ages. The people I'm really talking about today, I don't think many of you qualify, because I'm talking about older Australians. <laughs> uh, I'm not a younger Australian talking about older Australians, I'm an older Australian talking about older Australians, which I think is important that the first uh, ambassador for ageing is, I think I was 70 odd years of age when I took over the role. 
Um, in fact, I, a couple of milestones after my 67th birthday, because at the age of 67, I was asked to go on Dancing with the Stars. I learned at the age of 67 that if you get the opportunity to spend about four months in the arms of a man exactly half your age, <laughs> it's very good for you. But not only that, I learned that dancing is good for you. Even though I was hopeless and there's plenty of footage to prove it, uh, over the four months that we worked together, or even longer than that, I learned my centre of gravity, which I never really had before. Never had great balance, and this is a really important thing as you age, to have that balance. Dancing is a wonderful way to do this, and uh, it's, not only, you know, it's not only good for social skills, meeting new people. But meeting new people is really, really important. And that's what this centre is all about. Obviously, if you do things together, it's better. And you're more likely to go for that walk or to do your exercise regime if you've got a group of people who will do it with you. And I'm sure most of the people here would agree. That's a really good thing for, as you age to have some exercise really, really important. And you've got some brochures here. Some of them are from the Department of Health and Ageing with me on them. But there's also one there about weights, working with weights. And it's been proven that working with weights is really good for you as you age. And even people with dementia, it's really, really good for them. Now, it's terrific to have, uh, you know, over 55 uh, gated communities and everything, but they are a bit isolated from the rest of the world. Communication between other people is the most important thing. And also, if you see anybody who might be falling through the cracks, reach out to them. To let them know that there is some organisation where they would be welcome. And I always say, once a door's open, mm -hmm. you should go through that door. You, you might be frightened at first, timid at first, and there are people like that. So when they say no the first time, just keep at them. Because, you know, their lives can change once they belong to an organisation, once they're learning new things. Learning something new is absolutely vital. It isn't just doing crosswords and Sudoku and those sort of things. It's learning something new and meaningful. We don't say, I used to work in a bank, or I used to do this. We should say, I am in a community organisation and this is what we do. We volunteer for things. You know, this is fantastic work that people in communities do, and we should be really proud of it. We should be proud to tell our stories. You also learn that it's important not to let other people down that you've got to be there. Even if you're feeling a bit crook, don't really want to face it. You've got that responsibility, you care for people. It's important. And, you know, you're learning something new about yourself, that you can do something that you didn't think you might have been able to do. So this is the thing about ageing that I believe is positive. I know there are some uh, people who have physical problems um, as you get older, um, a lot of things do start to run down, but if you are a member of some organisation and you're caring about other people and you're volunteering to help those people, you actually regard your health as better than it is. And these are the, the simple facts about ageing.